energy independence for the Baltic states. It's a project which has picked up speed following Russia's aggression in Ukraine, which began in March 2014. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, among other states in Europe, have until now been largely dependent on Russia for supplies. But that looks set to change, with new cables running from Lithuania to Poland and Sweden. News outlet Bloomberg has the story. We'll look at that today here on The Press Review. Bloomberg writes, a quarter of a century after breaking free from the Soviet Union, the Baltic states are finally getting rid of their electricity dependence too. One of two new cables costing 1.1 billion euros connecting Lithuania to Poland started on Wednesday. Commercial flows on the second link from Lithuania to Sweden had been poised to start commercial operations on Wednesday too, before tests were suspended Monday after a fire. After last year opening Eastern Europe's first liquefied natural gas import terminal to end Russia's monopoly on fuel supplies, the two cables are a second step toward energy independence, according to Lithuania's energy minister. The Lithuanian minister says the new cables will eliminate, quote, the fear of the Russian factor, now that Lithuania can buy electricity from a host of other nations, including Sweden and Poland. Lithuania, as it turns out, is the central player in the energy politics arena. As Bloomberg explains, expanding capacity to Lithuania is central to energy independence for the region because the nation has the main link to Belarus and on to Russia. Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia's joint power deficit exceeded 25% of the region's demand last year. Half of that was covered by imports via Lithuania. The integration means Russia will have to invest billions of dollars to modify its grid to ensure supplies to its enclave of Kaliningrad between Poland and Lithuania. President Vladimir Putin said in a September interview for PBS. Ostensibly, the Kremlin is worried about Kaliningrad, the enclave it controls in the Baltics. But what is at stake is potentially much more than that. Russia has in the past been accused of using energy exports as a weapon. If the Baltics integrate further with Europe, a major lever of influence for Moscow could be neutralized. Perhaps that is why the Russian military became involved. Bloomberg explains, Russia is concerned the moves will break the loop of the former Soviet grid that allows power to flow across the borders of what used to be one transmission network and isolate Kaliningrad, to which it is currently linked through Lithuania, Putin told PBS. Russia plans to build four power plants in Kaliningrad to improve the region's electricity supply balance. In spring, Russian warships hindered the work of the vessel laying the power cable between Lithuania and Sweden. So these attempts by the Baltic states to diversify their supplies of energy perhaps lend extra meaning to the term power politics. But after Russia's actions in Ukraine, the path seems inevitable. The Baltics and other European states will continue to integrate more closely, leaving Moscow with a shrinking share of the energy market. That's all we have time for today. Join us again tomorrow for another press review. In Kiev, this is Ukraine Today.